Welcome back to Upper Michigan. Today, A, we're making passes here at the Gwyn VFW Post 5670. We're here with Auxiliary President Louise Engels. So we're kind of back at, at the kitchen. It looks like this might be... I guess you explain to me. I don't, I don't yeah, want to narrate. At? What are we looking at? Okay, this is where we start. This is where they mix the insides of the pasties. There's um, potatoes, rutabagas, onions, meat, and carrots. And so they mix it up. They season it. We have it sorted out by batches. Today we are doing nine batches. So they will wheel this out over to the tables over there. Okay, how many bags of potatoes? Do you know how many uh, you'll go through during this pasty making process? Um, we went through nine, I think they were nine 50 pound bags Ooh. of potatoes. Okay. Ooh. We do, um, I picked up, so it's about 75 pounds of onions. Look at those coming out. Yeah, I'm right. Fill that right hey, right there. hey, okay. We are we are actually in the way, so that's that's okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay. So expected a news piece. Okay, let's get out of the. Okay, we'll let you pass. All right. Okay, we'll okay nobody's we'll gonna. We're gonna go. get out of your way. Okay. <laughs> We'll let the kitchen take over. So then this is the next step of the process. Yes, it is. This is where we actually put the pasties together. So we're going to start down at that end. Okay, let's go all the way down. So how you many can of these see... people are members and how many of them are just volunteers? Do you know? Not right off the top of my head. Um, this is where we do the dough. We have a guy who comes in on Sundays. He <laughs> makes our dough 18 bags. Each bag is 14 and a half pounds of dough. So they roll them into dough balls. Okay, so dough balls first. You're making the dough balls, and then they go in to and get then pressed. And they go through the roller, and it brings it out a little bit thinner. To, nice uh, job with the rolling there. Then Looking we good. Have our rollers who actually roll <laughs> it out to the pan size. So they roll it out, put it in the pan, and okay. then they move down here. These are pretty hefty pasties. You're not skimping on anything. No. 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 These are pasties for hunters, Elizabeth. These are pasties for well, hunters. These are the pasties we do all the time. Okay. Just, then we have the filler. She has, we have a certain amount that goes in. The filler, the, the filler. filler. She fills the pasties, moves it on down. Do you like your job over here? I'm the most important one here. Oh. Yeah, yes, she is. She's hey, when I make pasties at my grandma's house, I'm the filler too. <laughs> yeah. Most important. Yeah. I bet everybody has the most important I crimp important too. Job. I crimp and I put rutabaga in the pasties. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, then we Our, roll on down this Okay, way. we're going to keep going. Is this the crimping this stage? This is where they do the crimping, the folding and the crimping. Do you think the crimping really is the most important? Really an assembly line process yes, here. Okay. Super efficient system. We do about, Artists. today we'll be doing about 675 pasties. 675? Sorry, I'm getting really involved in the crimping over here. 675. Yes. Are you crimping all 675 right here? Yes. Woo. Everything is done. Not by <laughs> And then once they're done okay. here, we then go we get back a... over that way. Okay, so they load them on a pan. They load them on the pan, tend to a pan, put the pans over there, and then... The pans go back in the ovens? Yep. And we do five you can pans see right there, at a time per oven. So right now, he's filling that one. We can do uh, 50 per oven. So at sometimes we have 200 cooking at a time. How long will you be here today? Me personally or our group? The, the, the whole group. group. How long will you be making the pasties? The group is usually here until about 11. Bakers are here a little bit longer. And then... 11. A.M. A.M. What time did you start this morning? I was here at 6. Okay, so and about 5 And then most hours. of my crew comes in about 7. Okay. I get things set up. Um, That's incredible. And come in. I thought you were going to tell me it took you two days to do this. That's, <laughs> you've got a good system. We do. On Mondays, we come in and we peel. That's okay. That's when we do the peeling and the chopping of the onions and the carrots. And I get... Um, things set up and uh, some of the guys from the post get the room set up. Okay, so it's a process. It is a process. It's a, a two process. Day process. But it's really a well ordered system. It is. And this is something that you do once a month through sep September through May, is that what yes. you said? Yes, and we've been doing this for about 30 years. So I've only been in charge of it for the last maybe six years. So. You're doing a fantastic job. Before we go to break, I want to show the final, yes. the cooling of the pasties over here. 
We can't touch the pasties, we don't have gloves on, but I just want to show when it's all is said and done, they come here, they cool, and then right. you bag them? They cool, they have to be cooled down to 45 degrees, so we have to let them sit out. That's why the door is open to let the cool air in. Once they are cooled enough so they're not hot, they can go into a bag so they don't sweat and then get all. And then um, they are put into our bags and our boxes. Okay. I have another group that comes in Monday nights and they take our list and they put names on each bag, how many pasties, what kind of pasty. So in the morning then the bags are right there. We just start filling bags. People start coming in about 11 between 10.30 and 11 to start picking up their pasties. Okay, if I didn't get my name on a list, I didn't order one, is it too late? We will have some. You'll have some extra, and you can just pop in and yes. here at the VF, at the post? Yeah, after um, call, we're asking people to call after noon and 12 um, to make sure we do have extra pasties so they can come in. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Okay, what's the number to call? 906-346-5670. 5670. Okay, we're going to put that number on our website after the show this morning. So if you can't take it and you need to try to get one, you can make a phone call. So we have to take another break. I think it's time for us to try to make a pasty. All right. Okay, Thanks we'll take much. a break and get our hands uh, dirty when we come I'm back. I'm excited. I'm excited too.